Most of the people who organize the kinds of vigils that we had on Wednesday night are certainly uh, familiar with the history and kind of do draw on that history. The weekly peace vigil in front of New London's Soldiers and Sailors Monument had a special guest on Wednesday. Welcome back to New London. <laughs> Thank you. Marjorie Swan Marge, do you want this all? returned to stand within sight of the electric boat shipyard where, 50 years ago, she and the members of the Committee for Nonviolent Action first protested the construction of Polaris nuclear submarines. That's what uh, was started 50 years ago, and it's still continuing. Those who came out to the vigil, you who are here this evening, you're still working right in the belly of the beast, so to speak. After a showing of the documentary Polaris Action, Swan talked about the group's opposition to the submarine's nuclear missile capabilities and their continued work at the 50-acre farm in Voluntown that became the Voluntown Peace Trust. We decided that we would continue the struggle of not only against Polaris submarines, they were just a part of a whole system in this country, in the world, of depending on violence supposedly to solve problems, always creating more problems than it solved. In preparation for a weekend reunion at the Peace Trust, several organizers of the 1960s actions gathered for a vigil outside the gates of Electric Boat on Friday. One of the reasons that we wanted to do this reunion weekend was not just as a reunion for the folks who did this 50 years ago, but as a way of kind of learning from that history, because we're going to have to keep doing this probably for the next 50 years at least, so we want to have that, uh, that inspiration.